Zodiac's new cleaner. It's called the T3. And I'll pull it out of the pool so you can get a look at the cleaner itself. It operates like the other Zodiac cleaners with the bouncing hoses. The bouncing motion creates uh, movement on top of the water and that should knock some debris to the bottom so the cleaner can pick it up. So I like the bouncing motion of these cleaners. They're also great for algae on the walls. This is Zodiac's newest suction site cleaner. It's called the T3. And it's a little compact cleaner. It's a lot smaller than the other Zodiac cleaners. Next to the G2 cleaner, you'll see a dramatic size difference in the cleaner itself. It comes with the new, new style locking hoses. I'm not a big fan of these hoses, but they're supposed to last a lot longer. The old hoses tend to crack here, and then you have to get new hoses, so they're supposed to be more durable. The problem I have with the new style hoses is if you want to spot vacuum your pool, with the old style hose, you can easily put it onto your vacuum, and the new style hoses, you can't quite do that. So you have to have separate hoses to vacuum your pool. It's got an interesting wheel deflector, unlike the G2 and G3 where it's on the plastic, which does wear off. You can see this one has duct tape holding it on. The G T3 actually clips. You can just pull it right off. So it kind of just clips right onto the cleaner, which may make it last longer. Like I said, this tends to wear out on the body, and then the wheel deflector will come loose. So again, the T3 just clips on right here like this. The diaphragm is in here. It's actually a smaller compact looking diaphragm. A little different style diaphragm than the other cleaners. It's got the standard opening that the other Zodiac suction side cleaners have on the bottom. It's got a smaller fin disc area, so it's a slightly smaller cleaning area, but I don't think it's going to affect the cleaning ability of the cleaner itself. It feels much heavier than, the actual, than it actually is. It looks light, but the cleaner feels just about as heavy as the old uh, G2 or G3 cleaner, so it's got some heft to it. And it's pretty solidly built. It's got a different style bumper on the back. And it seems like it's going to be a lot longer lasting. You're going to change this piece here versus having to change the whole weight on the back. And the foot pad is actually built directly into the fin disc here. So it's not a separate part. Of an older Zodiac cleaner, you'll notice that the foot pad and the fin disc are separate parts. When you buy the cleaner new, it comes with the skimmer adapter too, if you're going to hook your cleaner up to the skimmer. Some rather large debris here. I'm going to feed it into the cleaner and see if it stops it or not. These are seed pods from a tree. Yeah, and all three went right into the cleaner. But they're good on those seed pods. I have some other debris I'm going to put in here. I have a set of leaves stuck on the stem here. Some smaller, harder seed parts that I'm going to put in there. I'll put one more of those in there also. See how the cleaner does. I'm going to go ahead and feed it this piece again. Took it right in there. I'm gonna try these little seed pods here. Again, it went right in. Let me try a handful of them. See how the cleaner does here. Took all those in. Of course, these little tiny ones you should have no problem with. Let me try this set of leaves here. See if it gives it any trouble. That's the best way to feed it in here. I'll just let it suck it in. You have a little trouble at first, but it sucked the whole thing in. Another leafy type of debris. Let's see how it does with this one. I sucked it right in there, no problem. And of course, standard leaf should be no problem for it. I'd say pretty much all cleaners have trouble with rocks. So I have two different size rocks here. And this usually stops any cleaner. So I'm going to put the small rock in first. So again, most cleaners are stopped by rocks because it's not pliable and they can't really pick them up. Although that larger rock went in there pretty good. Didn't have any trouble with it. I'm going to give this cleaner a thumbs up on the amount of debris it sucks in. That was an excellent amount of debris that it picked up. Now here's the cleaner heading into the corner by the steps. Okay, there's a T3 in the corner here. Let's see how it gets out of this little area that's thin here. Worked its way out of that corner. It looks like it's getting free right now. It took a little bit of time, but it got out of that corner pretty good. The new style bumper worked pretty good. For an average size pool like this one here, the 30 feet of hose hooked into a side port is plenty for the cleaner. And so the Zodiac T3 is an impressive little cleaner. It took that debris really well. It moves around the pool really good. Like I said, it's really hefty. It's a lot heavier than it looks. Looks like it's made out of really durable hard plastic. So definitely this is a good upgrade for Zodiac and their suction side cleaners.